Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making the lemon cuddler. Last week we made the lime cuddler, which was about seven inches by 10 inches. And this lemon version is almost double the size at about 10 inches by 16 inches. This giant lemon pillow is made with Bernat blanket yarn, making it super soft and squishy. You can also add safety eyes and a smile to make it extra cute. If you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list. For today's tutorial, you'll need one big ball of Bernat blanket yarn. I'm using the color Pale Marigold. This colorway is seasonal and only available at Michaels, so I'll leave a link for that down below. A similar permanent colorway is Bernat Blanket Brights in the color School Bus Yellow. Feel free to substitute with any super bulky six weight yarn. You will also need an eight millimeter or L hook, a stitch marker, scissors, a yarn needle, Polyfill for stuffing and optional supplies include 18 millimeter black safety eyes and a six inch strand of black medium weight yarn. We're gonna begin by making a magic circle. So we're gonna take the tail end of our yarn and wrap it around our pointer finger and our middle finger twice. When we bring it around the second time, we're gonna bring it to the back of our hand, insert our hook under the first strand, grab the second strand under and flip it up. And then we're gonna secure that with a chain one. For round one, we are going to work eight single crochets inside of the circle. We're gonna be working around both strands of yarn there. And we're just gonna work eight single crochets inside the circle. When you reach the end, you can take the short tail end there and pull it tight to close up that hole there. And then we're gonna go straight into round two. We're not gonna be joining or anything. So we're gonna go straight into our first stitch from the last round. And we are going to be working two single crochets into each stitch around. So after you make that first single crochet, we're gonna grab our stitch marker and mark that first stitch so we don't lose our spot. And then we are going to work two single crochets into each stitch around for round two. At the end of round two, our stitch count is now at 16. And now for the next two rounds, so rounds three and four, we're just gonna be working one single crochet into each stitch around. Make sure you put your stitch marker back in that first stitch and then just work one single crochet into each stitch around for rounds three and four. At the end of round four, our stitch count is still at 16. Now on to round five. We're gonna work one single crochet into the first stitch. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So that's one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch. We're gonna repeat that all the way around for round five. At the end of round five, our stitch count is now at 24. Now on to round six. We're gonna work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round six. So that's one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next stitch. At the end of round six, our stitch count is now at 32. Now on to round seven. For round seven, we are going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two single crochets into the next. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round seven. 
So that's one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and then two single crochets into the next. At the end of round seven, our stitch count is now at 40. Now on to round eight. For round eight, we're going to work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. That's one single crochet in each of the next four stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. At the end of round eight, our stitch count is now at 48. Now on to round nine. For round nine, we're gonna work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. Single crochet in each of the next five stitches, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. At the end of round nine, our stitch count is now at 56. Now on to round 10. For round 10, we are going to work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. That's one single crochet into the next six stitches, and then two single crochets into the next, and we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round 10. At the end of round 10, our stitch count is now at 64. Now on to round 11. And for round 11, we are going to work one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. That's one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. At the end of round 11, our stitch count is now at 72. And now for rounds 12 all the way through 28, we are just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. So we're all done increasing, and now we're just gonna build the length for our lemon. So for rounds 12 all the way to the end of round 28, we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. So this is what our lemon cuddler is looking like at the end of round 28. So our stitch count is still at 72. And now if you want to add the face to yours, now's the time. If you don't want to add a face, that's fine. You can just carry on to round 29. But I'm going to stop here. I'm going to flip mine over and then I'm going to grab my safety eyes. So I have two black 18 millimeter safety eyes and you're going to need the backings for them as well. 
Now I'm gonna add my eyes between rows 16 and 17 and 22 and 23. I end up adding them, I think, between rows 15 and 16 and 21 and 22 here, but then I end up moving them afterwards. So in the end, mine end up being at rows 16 and 17 and 22 and 23. You can add yours wherever you'd like. Whenever I place mine, I don't add the backings quite yet. I wait until I have the smile on, and then you can move around the eyes if you'd like at that point. So add your eyes and then once you think you have them where you want them, we'll grab our six inch strand of uh, black medium weight yarn and we'll use that for our smile. So you can thread that through with your yarn needle. And then I like to start by going in from the back and I'm going to start over by the left eye and just go one to two rows in from the left eye and then I bring it down one to two stitches diagonally and try and get centered between both the eyes and then I'm going to bring it up over beside the right eye again trying to keep it centered and then back down through the center again And then you can see here my eyes weren't very even so this is the point where I moved them to where they ended up being so you can move around your eyes at this point now if you'd like and that's why I don't put the backings on until the very end Once you're happy with the eye and mouth placement, you can then tie up the black medium weight yarn. Just use a few secure knots. Make sure you don't pull on the yarn too tight because you don't want to cinch the smile. It will get lost between the stitches of the um, Bernat blanket yarn. So just try and keep it nice and loose, but you can secure that with a few knots and then add the backings to your safety eyes. Now we can move on to round 29 and now for round 29 we're going to start decreasing. So we are going to work one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And then we're going to single crochet two together in the next two stitches. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round 29. So we're going to work one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches and then single crochet two together. At the end of round 29, our stitch count is now at 64. Now on to round 30. For round 30, we are going to work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches and then single crochet two together. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. That's one single crochet into each of the next six stitches and then single crochet two together.
At the end of round 30, our stitch count is now at 56. Now on to round 31. We are gonna work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, and then single crochet two together. I'm gonna to repeat that all the way around. That's one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, and then single crochet two together. At the end of round 31, our stitch count is now at 48, and you can see we're slowly closing up our lemon. We're now on to round 32, and for round 32, we are gonna work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then single crochet two together. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. That's one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then single crochet two together. At the end of round 32, our stitch count is now at 40. Now on to round 33. For round 33, we're gonna work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and then single crochet two together. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. That's one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and then single crochet two together. At the end of round 33, our stitch count is now at 32, and you can see we've closed it up quite a bit now. We're now on to round 34, and for round 34, we are gonna work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then single crochet two together. We're gonna repeat that all the way around. That's one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then single crochet two together. At the end of round 34, our stitch count is now at 24, and you can see our hole at the end is getting quite small. So before we go any further, we're gonna stuff our lemon with polyfill. So you can stuff yours as much or as little as you'd like. The more stuffing you add, the firmer it will be, and the less stuffing you add, the squishier it will be. Once you have it as filled as you would like, we can move on to round 35. And don't worry, we're gonna stuff it one more time before closing up to fill in the very end. So don't worry about overfilling it at this point. So on to round 35, we are going to work one single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet two together. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round 35. So that's single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet two together into the next. At the end of round 35, our stitch count is now at 16. And now for rounds 36 and 37, we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. So our stitch count is gonna remain at 16, and for the next two rounds, we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. At 
At the end of round 37, our stitch count is still at 16. Now we only have one more round to work. So if you wanna add any more stuffing, you can do so now. You can also do it before we close up after the last round. So for our last round, round 38, we are just going to single crochet two together eight times. So all the way around for round 38, we are just going to single crochet two together in each stitch around. At the end of round 38, our stitch count is now at eight. So now we can remove our stitch marker and close up. So just in that next stitch, I'm going to slip stitch and chain one. And then I'm gonna cut off my yarn, leaving about a six inch tail. Before we close up the end, you can now add any more polyfill stuffing that you want. To close up the end, you can use your yarn needle and thread your yarn through it. And then we're just gonna weave that through the last eight stitches that we worked. When you reach the end, you can pull it nice and tight to fully close up that hole. And then we're just gonna secure this with a few knots. And then you can weave in your end and then hide the end inside the lemon and cut off any excess yarn that you have. And there we go, there is our lemon cuddler. And now you can kind of squish all the stuffing inside of it to get it all even, and then we are all done. Thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find this pattern and many more free patterns on my blog, whoshomemade.com. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to take me in your photos so I can see your finished turtle trunk creations. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.